Hi there. My name is Al Nalana, and I enjoy playing Strange Horticulture. All right, let's get back into it. The mystery will unravel. Day 10, Sunday. With our blank card. Okay, the first thing I want to do is pet the cat. Gosh, I wish I could remember the cat's name. I, ugh, if anybody remembers it, let me know. A secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. Okay. Two miles north of Foxfield. One, two. Three ravens circle above, their calls and croaks cleaving the silence. An omen. I take what I came for and leave. Ooh. Oh, those look like dandelion leaves. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just look through the letters that we have. Um, oh, we have this one finished so we can archive it. We don't have this one finished. We don't have this one finished. So, dead ground northeast of Tebe, where nothing but black grows. Okay. Where's the watering can? Here we go. Please water. How do I even know these guys like top watering? Shouldn't they be watered from underneath anyway? I'm ruining their leaves. Okay. Uh, dead ground, northeast. North and east. What? Nothing here? Hmm. Dead ground, north and east, or what? Black with digitalis grows. Hmm. That was north and east. Oh no, it was north and west. <laughs> yeah. I know the difference. <laughs> All right, let's try east this time. I even have a compass right here. North and east. <laughs> the wide area of black and ground here is known to the locals as Dead Man's Field. Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil, like fingers reaching out from the grave. A uh, gross? Uh... Do those really look like fingers? They're really gross. Okay. So we've got that one. We've got all of these little ones that we've had from the beginning. Um, and then we have this guy. Long Meg, which uh, our, that one person is looking for for us. This one I have a feeling is going to come up in a question. So this is the only one that I don't. Huh. I don't know. Okay. Let's close our drawer so nobody sees our stuff. Pet our cat and take the next person. Ah, Mailman. Uh, one from your librarian friend today. Oh, I like my librarian friend. They want me to explore. In reference to your question the other day about Long Meg, I'm afraid I do not have an answer. But Calder Abbey has a wealth of knowledge on local lore. If you ever go there, the monks will request a plant from you, but they won't tell you what they want. A sort of test. They've never allowed me in to look through their stacks, Simone. All right, Simone. Well, let's get going. Calder Abbey. Calder Abbey. 
Calder Abbey has something for me. A small window opens within a much larger oak door. From the darkness within, a voice proclaims, Only a friend may enter. Only a friend may enter. Hmm. Huh. No, no, I need the fox button, not the forest camphrey. An offering of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick, shiny leaves grow along in prosing pairs on the stem. Part. Fox button. The hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I am ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Longmeg and leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment surveying before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Yes. I am this closer to Longmeg. Regarding Longmeg, there is a stone circle north of Undermere. According to local legend, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby along with her daughters. They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic until one night they went too far and Meg and her daughters were turned into stone. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg by the locals. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy and I love it. Okay. Let's take the next person. Verona. Hello, Miss Verona. The sisterhood are trying my patience again. If the old Arda was around, but she's not. They've kept secrets for hundreds of years. If there ever was a time to share them, it's now. They know of a way to defeat this servant, some ritual or weapon or something, but their stubborn pride won't bring them to ask for help. Well, I won't sit idly by and do nothing. I'd better have a little chat with this new Arda, and I think I'll take some mountain astery with me. A uh, mountain astery. If I have some, it's all yours, Verona. You're my favorite. Mountain Astery. Ooh, look at that. Cross section of the xylem. Promotes an aura of confidence and persuasiveness. The large cup-like flowers produce a stale, damp smell. Large cup-like flowers. I really need to reorganize. I said I was going to do that last time. Large cup like flowers. Buttons are straight. 
They're buttons? It just called them buttons. Oh! <gasps> That's upside down! Oh! Okay. Um, these were in order. Were? It's not the last one. Where's the last one? Oh, it is the last one. Okay. All right, so there's five of them. And they go in a definite order. I've just forgotten the order now. Okay. That doesn't quite meet. This does, though. That doesn't quite meet either. But this does. Do I have something wrong? That meets. And that meets. Oh, I just had it off before. Okay. So. That one. That one. That one. That one upside down. And... That one! Oh! There's another drawer! Okay. Wait, where do these go now? Oh, I guess I still need them? I'll leave them on here. I don't want to have to reorganize them again. <laughs> Briar's disk, often called smuggler, smuggler's disk, is a simple device to be used to send coded messages. Okay, that's got to be this one. No. Uh, Robert Barrow's Medicinal Herbology, Black Hall Road, Kindle, Devil's Night Trap, and Thimble Huff. Okay. Off a called Smuggler's Disk is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. The location of catch cargo, for example. The principle is cunningly straightforward, but the code is indecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of a disk of identical size with the same symbols etched around each edge and a map. To encode a location, you would then place the disk over some named point on a map nearby and note whichever symbol is pointing to the location. It may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but you can use this method to reach any other point on the map as required. Hmm. I'm sure that this is the Briar's disc. Where does this go? Huh. There's something else in that. Oh, yeah. Look at it. No. This one. Just in case. You never know. What about this? Okay. And where does this go? In letters. In letters. Oh. This is like a Briar's disc. Hmm. It is a little off, it seems. Maybe not straight up and down. Hmm. 
Okay, but that's cool. Can I open it again? No. Maybe if I like did this number, it would open again. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, still doesn't help me with that. Uh, next hint. A card for a medicinal plant shop. Maybe to find something. Oh, okay. See, I thought that card was... Um, Black Hall Road, Kendall. Okay. Kendall, Kendall, Black Hall Road, Kendall. I find the medicinal herbology shop off of Black Hall Road. I know you, says the man behind the counter. Robert Barrow, presumably. Uh, you're the owner of Strange Horticulture. Two hours later, after a lengthy and engaging discussion covering a variety of botanical subjects, we decide on a trade. It turns out Robert is a collector of unusual fungi, and I have just the thing for him. Copper Colonian. Col 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 uh, Caledon. Uh, it's Caledonian. It's Caledorn! Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's sad that it's not a tentacle. Red spores often seen growing on it are a type of fungus themselves and not part of the plant. Rejuvenation effect, but most who have tried to benefit from its properties have come to realize it is a curse and not a blessing. Though you may appear younger, you will quickly become more frail and brittle. Yep. That's probably it. Unless this is it. No. Yay! And I get more plants. Yay! Cup like flowers. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Caladorn. Gotta label Caladorn. Put my labels away because that's where they go. And um, then a oh, mountain mastery. Okay. Mountain mastery. Stale damp smell. Okay. Yes, this is the one. Mountain mastery. Okay. Mm -hmm. I might as well just leave the labels out, huh? Bet the cat. Take the next one. Thomas, what's happened to your hair and your face? I finished the designs you asked me to work on. Be very careful in wrapping these. Some of the glasswork is quite delicate. I have taken great care in transporting them. My lab equipment is finally here. Now I'll be able to brew elixirs using ingredients from my plants. Cool. Where do I... Where are they? Where did they go? Is it up here somewhere? Did I... Okay, that can go away. Huh. Curious. Closer inspection? Huh. Okay, well, pet the cat and take the next one. Ooh. I was thought it was gonna be the Jade Mask again. The new Arda wouldn't like me to like me being here, but the forest is in danger. I spoke with Verona Green earlier. It's it's bad. If the Dendru has awoken, then it, it will come for us. You must place an offering at the altar of Arudunia. Okay, why do I have to do that? Oh, it's another one of these. Ugh. Hmm. 
church and church, mountain and mountain. Let's look on the map first. All right, mountains. Maybe the church thing was just a, like this is where a thing is. Uh, oh, there's a church. And there's a church, maybe. Let's pull it back up, where is it? Ugh, I don't like that I can't see them at the same time. Where is it? <laughs> I start it. Uh, yep, I got sick. Okay. Kind of, maybe. Maybe here? Okay, let's give that a try. Hmm. Why am I here? Yeah, that's what I figured. Alright, well that was worth a try. Let's put that away for now. Pet the cat. Take the next person. <gasps> cat achievement cat look Ah oh, cat lover! I'm a cat lover. Okay. I I don't know if you could see that, but I was I got an esteem achievement for being a cat lover. <laughs> uh, Natalie Cooper, um, I'm being harassed by loonies, shouting about the redemption, saying they're going to set it free, whatever the hell that means. Well, they can take their seeds of whatever woken something or other us nonsense and stick it where the sun don't shine. I'm not j joining their damn cult. I just want to tend my garden in peace. I'm looking for some lark shine to drive them away if they come round again. All right. I'd be happy to give you that lark shine. I probably should have given the lark shine too. Lark shine. Ooh, pointy thing. Um, lark shine is a plant with a powerful defense mechanism. It releases stinging barbs triggered by a light touch. The pain is said to be unbearable and can last for several days sometimes confusingly called a kidney flower uh, this is thought to be a reference to the kidney shaped seeds held within the spiny pods that grow on this plant yeah this is the one lark shine it's an interesting name lark shine i wonder how they decided on that Right, so this is the end of day. Let's go ahead and do the will to explore. Um, we needed to go to the tall stone that stands apart from the main circle. So probably just up here to the daughter's circle then, right? Uh, the circle of ancient rhyolite boulders has been a site of ritual importance for hundreds of years. A lone pillar of red sandstone stops off to one side. Yeah, that was... <gasps> oh, the clue! It was south and east. South three, east two. That was it. All right, we'll try it on the next day. Let's get our card. Ooh, it's got holes in it. 902, 10, X, and 803. Hmm, I think that's going to sit over something. In time, she learned that the sisterhood had secrets. Or had she always known that? Had she come to them by chance, or had she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure. But by now, she knew what she wanted she would do anything to get it. I'm guessing it's that book. I mean, I like books as much as the next person. Day 11, Monday. I'm not willing to kill for it. All right. 
It is self... Where is it? Where is that sheet of paper? No, it's not on the... It's not on my desk. All the other papers are on my desk. Not that one. This is the one. All right, let's put everything else away. Messy desk. All right, so this is... These are the ones I'm working on right now. Let's get these away. I don't know why those didn't mark off. Maybe I have to use them again. Let's put this one away for now. Uh, this. All right, it is, oh, holy potatoes. Okay, uh, south three, east two, long meg. South three, east two. Did I go west again? Yep. South three, one, two, three, East 2. The river is in its youth here, flowing swiftly through the rocks with a melodic gurgle. Among the tall grasses in the, that line the river uh, is a much more unusual looking flower that we are going to steal. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, so that one is done, and that one is done. Nice. So we have this one that I hate. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like this. And then these two here. Uh, and then this, this, these two cards. Right, pet the cat. Take the first customer of the day. Who is George Campbell? My old man reckons there's a plant. What can find pots of gold buried underground? I don't know what it's called, but I bet you do. Tell you what, when I'm rich, I'll throw you a share of gold your way. <laughs> Weeping Bell. I would be happy to provide you that, Weeping Bell, George. I am sure the plant will not do exactly what you'd like. A plant that is believed to, by many to lead to gold. You'll have about as much luck searching for the end of the rainbow. The soft frilled leaves can soothe insect bites and stings. It's also uh, known as golden light and sometimes fool's hope. Okay, uh, soft frilled leaves. I would call these frilled leaves, but those don't look the same. Maybe it's this new one? Yeah, let's try this one. Yeah, it looks a little weepy. Lesser Mary Dog. It's a fool of a toque. Um, this is Weeping Bell. Right, I have a wander up or a will to explore up. Let's try the uh, other card if I can find it. Here. It's not this card, it's that card. All right, 90210. Yeah, 902. 803 and there E16 E16 The impressive ridge line of the crinkle crags stretches across the full width of my vision. Days like today are worth being alive for. A colorful plant stands out amongst the moss. Ooh, that is colorful and fluted pet the cat take the next customer what is what is that <gasps> oh oh okay uh what is that patterson's guide to fatal fungi and their antidotes spring wax cap sometimes fatal can usually be cured by taking Hop, hor hop heart boiled in vinegar. Sunset mount cap. Generally not fetal in small doses. Use crushed leaves from sour bandy to cure. Bishop's parasol. Op often fatal 
and can be remedi remedied using the sap from lemon dandy. Uh, copper caladorn, often fatal, no known cure. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Uh, farmer's worry, often fatal, an antidote can be made using royal genitalia. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, crushed petals of three distinctive plants. Okay. I want to do this. Uh, does that look right? Five petals. Yeah, kind of. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, 20 petals. It's just five, but it doesn't have the stamens poking out. Uh, this is five and it does have stamens poking out, but the leaves are a little big. So I'll put these over here. Let's find pointy tipped flowers in five. These are pointy tipped in five, but they're not like arrow tips. That one's pointy tip in five. But the same it is not. The sticky outy bit is what my brain wants to say. I feel slightly like I'm wasting time doing this, but it's fun. Um, maybe Meliglo. For the other one, for this one. It's not that one because they're not pointy. These are kind of pointy, but too many petals. That's just not... And they're not five. I wonder if it's going to make me drink it. I'll probably get a rising dread puzzle if I get poisoned. Well, I don't necessarily have the right plants here because I don't know where the other one is, this one, because none of these seem to be right. Except for this. So I'm going to do it. That one. This is the one I'm guessing. And then that one. Ooh. Okay. Try that one. Okay, let's not play with that anymore right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, if anybody has any ideas on that one, definitely get back to me and or let me know. Until then, let's pet the cat and take the next person. Hello, Ines. Uh, Ines. I have a task for you that would greatly aid the seeds of redemption. One of the drear is in town, and we know he's paid you a visit already. No doubt feeding his habit. We suspect he's here to hunt the Dendru. If he returns, give him some of this. 
he will make a worthy sacrifice to the dead Jew. Let's help him on his way. I mean, I'm going to take your plant, uh, but I'm not doing that. Okay. Um, pet the cat. Take the next one. Amos Duncan. I'm heading out on the road again, but before I leave, I wanted to store some valuables in a safe. I don't trust myself to remember the combination, and I certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it. Uh, this is where you come in? Surely you've got something up your sleeve for me. I just tried to make that. Uh... Ah, I don't. Clue card. Okay. Uh huh. Clue card. Watching the star. Oh, is there a star? Moon. Okay. Um, kind of points off of the map. Oh, hmm. Where's that coin? Huh. Oh, I have no idea. So I would have said it was the moon, but that's off the map. That's over here. Watching? Ugh. Uh, next sense. Next sense. Grid reference F31. <laughs> that's such a cheat. Uh, oh, every word on their card starts with a compass reference. What? North, east, south, south, west, south, south. <laughs> 31. I am... Okay, so... North... East, south, south, west, south, south. Ah, that's a cool one. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swathes, swath, swaths of purple heather. And there, another. Yes, that's the plant I was looking for. For sure. Okay. Um, so let me pull that Baylox elixir out again. Here's that guy. And then I was pretty sure it was this one. And... Yeah, I was pretty sure it was the Mellow Glow. Uh, oh no! Okay. Give me another one. Study the recipe carefully. Well, thanks. Is there anything in here called Grey Gale? Hmm. 
No, that's not helpful. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure that's right. I don't know if this one is. So I'll take that out and switch it for this one. Okay, so I don't know if this is the problem. Uh. Okay, maybe that's the problem. So I have this one that's unidentified, but it doesn't look like that at all. This one's got pointy ends. And this one has rounded ends. This one has pointy ends. It's too many petals though. This one has pointy ends. Maybe that. An eyebright is known to help you see in the dark. Uh, I really think it's this one because of the bow on the petal. Okay. Oh! That's it! Yes! Okay. Ah, the elixir. Pelox. Of course, I will have to remember that some way. Or, oh, we're as far as we can go over. Where did my plants go? Okay. So you, you... And you are Balox. Let's give the dude his elixir, huh? Where where did it go? Where did did I just not? Uh, oh, what? Can I? Oh, you make it for yourself first, and then then you have to make it again. Yes, but I need to give it to someone? Where... Uh... Hello? Oh! It's right here! Mm. Oh, I see. It just sits on the shelf. Oh, does that have an... An, an entry now? Wow. B, B, B. No? Hmm. Oh, what's this extra page? Elixir, maybe? It said it put a journal entry, didn't it? Am I being an idiot? Could be. I'm good at idiot stuff. Alright, pet the cat, take the next person. Alice Boyd. Hello, Alice. I've run out of... 
uh, I can't remember its name. It's a sweet smelling plant with small purple flowers. I need it for mm, reasons. Small purple flowers. say purple purple that's not purple uh oh uh oh I gotta do the keys um a shiver travels down my spine my mind is broken this one This one. Uh. This one. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. <laughs> Day 11, Monday. Oh no, I don't have to play the whole thing again, do I? Please help me. I lost my dog while walking out in the fells. The mist rolled in and he was gone. I remembered there was a, this plant you could use to help me find, uh, to help find people. I wonder if it works on dogs. It has unusual black and golden flowers. Jacobsworth. I think I've used this before. And this is one of the ones I didn't label. <clears throat> Jacobs. Oh, wait. Um, worth. Okay, I thought we would be ending on a day, but I guess we ended on our breaking of mind. So we're going to go ahead and end here. Um, if you have any tips or tricks, please don't hesitate to give them to me. I am always willing to use other people's minds in the pursuit of completing this game. Thank you so much for joining me. You all have a lovely day.